and uh, good solid mount very solid mount here and uh, I like it I can leave it on most of the time it works great in the truck I got a well I have various hamsticks but uh, I don't hardly use anymore this is an uh, what they call an ATAS Yesu ATAS it's uh, works with the radio that's inside the truck I'll show in a minute it's, we'll change the bands from inside the truck it's an 8 see 891 Yesu 891 uh, I, ha I have more ham sticks in the house this is more for portable uh, this is the uh, chameleon 17 foot whip over there I got a stake that I put it in and I use a when I do parks on there I, I do all that I use a, a, a ground radios with that haven't been doing that much lately all right show you briefly inside of the truck and what do we got here this is during the oh, Oh, the worst time for HF. We got all these solar flares going on. Let's see. And uh, here's my VHF. Um, UHF. It automatically comes on. And, and right now I just got it work with scan. I hook up the microphone whenever I want to use it. However, I don't want to use it right now, but I leave it unplugged because I have a splitter on the coax. Not a good idea to do, but uh, it works okay as long as I don't. Let's see, my son uses this to hook up his scanner, and I'll uh, usually turn this radio off. Uh, and he'll hook, he has a ICOM. I see 30 or 30 something like that and it works out good so I don't I don't want to blow out a scanner but transmit in other words okay uh, my watch set for UTC time uh, and then this is uh, HF this is a uh, 891 the, the head of the unit is mounted here I have a clip turn that down I have a clip behind it. It's mounted good and solid right here. Clipped onto this, this, um, uh, uh, what it is. It's where you, you push it and, and it closes. You can put junk in there and side of the, in, inside of there. But, uh, uh, storage container type deal. Uh, Let me turn. Okay, I'm gonna turn that one off. The two meter, seven centimeter. That one I'll turn it off. And uh, let's see. Oh, it's actually someone talking. Cool. Surprised. I don't know how what hell well you can see there. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, yeah, the sunspots. Well, the solar flares have been wiping, wiping uh, us out lately. Had a we've, several times we have a complete radio blackout. Um, see, but at least we get uh, maritime net. And I'm not hearing it. I did hear somebody a second ago. Let me see. I'm gonna bring bring it down here and just check uh, SWR. K5 APD testing. K5 APD test over QRT. And that was about a 1.4. So you see about a 1.4 with that antenna. Uh, when I put the ATOS on and I could change bands with it, uh, that one's usually about a 1.5 to 1.7. But 1.4 is good for 20 minutes. And I'm right next to the house. 
when I get out there more, it's about a 1.2, maybe a 1.3 when I get out in the out away from the, uh, the away from the side of the house, and uh, so you know, in the in the the base unit is mounted in the back, or the rest of the part rest rest of this radio. This is just the the head part. That's what we got for uh, HF here in, uh, in this uh, in here. And whenever I want to make some contacts, I'll just uh, make my contacts and put all the information, and then uh, uh, later I'll go in the house and, and log them. Uh, haven't done any. I've done parks on there with this radio before, but not with this setup. So, future of Holly, do some parks out there. So, turn it off. Uh, let's see. I'll keep the sun off of it. In the back here is the, the radio. It's just the base unit with the wires and all that jazz so that's and that's the eight uh yes 891 i don't cover it up because of the heat i don't want it to get overheated but i do cover up the wires the best i can that's it uh video is over this is k5 k5 apd and that's my what i like to go around about eight eight and a half feet tall from the base of this tires of the truck to the top so uh the car wash is a seven foot so i gotta take it off for that but just about anything else i could just leave it on so 73s k5 apd <laughs>